Welcome to the Hydrogenation of Benzene to Cyclohexane series for Aspen Plus version 10. This video series serves as an introduction to Aspen Plus for chemical engineering students studying material and energy balances. In this video, we will export and import the heat exchanger of our hydrogenation model. Currently, our hydrogenation model's B5 cool block can only represent the hot side of a heat exchanger, the material running through the exchanger itself. However, we will replace this heat exchanger with a different one, heat X, that can represent the hot and cold side of a heat exchanger, the material flowing through the exchanger and a water stream to absorb heat. After opening the hydrogenation model from its last saved spot, right-click the B5 Cool folder and select Export. Save the file as B5 Cool. Now that we have the B5 Cool block exported, switch to the main flow sheet. Click the B5 Cool block and press Delete. Click OK to confirm deletion. Then, in the model palette, switch to the Exchangers tab and click the drop-down arrow of the Heat X icon. Select the third heat exchanger toward the top, named GENHT, and click once on the main flow sheet. Cancel Insert Mode and then connect the 6-all stream to the new exchanger block. To connect stream 7 Mix Cool, select Reconnect Source in the Reconnect options and right-click on the red outlet arrow of the newly added heat exchanger. Next, rename the heat exchanger to B10HTEX. Now, water streams will be added to the B10HTEX heat exchanger. First, click Material in the Model Palette and connect inlet and outlet streams to the heat exchanger. Cancel Insert Mode and then name the water inlet stream to H2ON. and name the water outlet stream to H2O out. Since we are adding water into our simulation, it needs to be added as a component. To do this, return to the Properties tab. Then, in the Navigation pane, double-click the Components folder and type water into an empty component ID cell. After, select the Simulation tab to return to the main flow sheet. Now we will specify the newly added heat exchanger block in water streams. To start, double-click the H2O in stream on the main flow sheet. Specify the stream to 27 degrees Celsius. Pressure to 5 bar. Total flow basis to mass. And flow rate to 85,000 kilograms per hour. For composition, give a value of 1 for water. Next, in the Navigation pane, double-click the B10HTEX folder. In the Exchanger Specification box, in the Specification drop-down menu, select Hot Stream Outlet Temperature and specify the value to 50 degrees Celsius. Now, switch the Pressure drop tab. Specify the outlet pressure of the hot side to be negative 0.3 bar. Then, switch the cold side and similarly specify the outlet pressure to be negative 0.3 bar. Next, switch to the U Methods tab, and the constant U value should be approximately 0 0.0203. In the B10HTEX folder, toward the bottom, select Summary. In this menu, select Steam TA for the cold side property method. Then, run the simulation. Now, in the B10HTEX folder, select Thermal Results. Switch to the Exchanger Details tab and the calculated heat duty should be approximately 460,000 calories per second. Next, check the results of the H2O outstream. The temperature of the stream should be approximately 46.6 degrees Celsius, which is higher than the H2O in-stream temperature of 27 degrees Celsius due to the absorption of heat from the 6-all stream. Now we will import the original B5 cool block to achieve a similar result of the water stream by some slight modifications. To begin, right-click the B10HTEX folder and select Export. 
Save the file as b10htex. Then return to the main flow sheet and delete the heat exchanger block. Now go to File in the top left corner. Select Import, File, double click the B5 Cool file, and then click OK. The original B5 Cool block will appear on the main flow sheet. Drag the block to the vacant heat exchanger space and reconnect the 6 All and 7 Mix Cool streams. As mentioned before, the B5 Cool block can only model the hot side of a heat exchanger. Thus, another exchanger must be added to model the cold side of the heat exchanger. From the model palette, select a heater from the Exchangers tab and name it Cold Side. Then, attach the H2O in and H2O out streams to the Cold Side block. Now, in the Cold Side folder of the Navigation pane, select Summary. For property method, select Steam TA to specify the cold side block as the cold side of the heat exchanger. To specify the cold side block further, double click the cold side folder. Specify the flash type to pressure and duty. And specify the pressure value to be negative 0.3 bar and the duty value to be 1.66 gigacal per hour. Then, run the simulation. Now, check the results of the H2O outstream, and the temperature should be approximately 46.6 degrees Celsius, which is similar to our temperature result from the B10HTEX block. For the rest of the simulation, the B10HTEX block will be used as the heat exchanger. Switch to the main flow sheet and delete the B5Cool and cold side blocks. After, import the B10HTEX block. And reconnect the appropriate streams. Now, save the model. This concludes the fifth video of the Hydrogenation of Benzene to Cyclohexane series for Aspen Plus version 10. Please continue to video 6, which will introduce the usage of a calculator block.